Hello everyone. This is Lawrence here in my little man cave, my vinyl room. Um, kind of a dark, dreary, wet, cold, wintry day. I thought I'd make a video. i try to get one or two on a week. And I appreciate everyone who have uh, watched my videos and put in a little comment or, or thumbs up. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to really get, trying to get this, uh, my little page going. I mean, I don't want 10 zillion subscribers, but just a nice little group. You know, we share interest. Um, and it always crossed my mind, well, what's the theme of this video I want to make or that video? And um, I, I came up with this idea. I noticed um, with the uh, recent event of downloading of music, which is dominant now, um, that something called record label art has practically disappeared. Okay, um, let me explain that. You know, I grew up in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. I just turned 60 and you know when I was young in my youth I always was buying records uh, be it 45s or albums and these artists were on the on a record label RCA um, reprise capital Columbia and so if you if you brought the album or 45 it usually has the um, the label art, and this one is Atlantic Led Zeppelin, Zep 2. I know, don't hold the album, um, hold it by the edges only. Okay, so you had something called label artwork, record label artwork, and that extended to um, well for the 45s, the the sleeves. Isn't that cool? Island Records. Another Atlantic Ot Otco. And uh, some were generic. And the 45s are, are albums themselves. You know, they had the uh, record company artwork. Um, Reprise had the uh, the steamboat there. I don't know where that came from. Atco, kind of an extension of what the sleeve was. Uh, this was a famous one, uh, Columbia. The the kind of uh, reddish orange label there. And let me put on my glasses. Uh, this yeah, this is Wings. Uh, Good night tonight, where they kind of went a little disco-y there, and Capitol Record had the famous uh, uh, rainbow label, but this is a, a later uh, issue, a later design. Um, this is Sweet Love Is Like Oxygen. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, where it's purple. Uh, EMI, part of capital. Roulette Records. This was not a, such a famous um, uh, label here. Uh, Genus Records. And cool outer sleeve. Um, oh, th there's one I have to run and get real quick, okay? I forgot to... Uh, grab it. Thank you for bearing with me. This was probably the most famous label. I showed a, a, a later version of the Capitol, but this one right here, uh, this is a Glen Campbell record um, with the yellow and, and orange. Of course, we all know the Beatles were on Capitol. And the Beatles formed their own label called Apple. And this is the Badfinger 45, uh, Baby Blue. 
and on the back it has the like the apples been sliced and one last one I'll show you Electria records a lot of people were on the, on that label like the, the cars um, um, just memory block I think the Eagles no Eagles were on asylum so you associate a uh, record company with with an artist and the um, design of the the label the artwork extended over to the um, sleeve of the 45 and I, you know I've been thinking about scanning some of this in and printing it out on nice uh, photo pa paper and creating um, you know, put them all together and framing it and creating some artwork for the uh, vinyl room, okay? Um, also, more recently with the uh, vinyl coming back and artists, newer artists releasing um, um, their work on vinyl, um, usually the record label, the, there's no artwork, you know, it's used right here, the St. Vincent album, it's, it's down here, and the uh, album itself, we'll pull that out, it's the artist's own design, not a record company, whereby... Led Zeppelin 2, most of their albums, except when they went to uh, create their own label, Swan Song, had the uh, Atlantic Record Company artwork. But I was very happy to see the last release by this band, The War on Drugs. They signed to Atlantic Records, and when this album was released I opened it to my delight they had the old Atlantic label on there so that was then this is now um, as we progressed you know into the 80s um, for albums, the group would choose to go with the uh, uh, record company artwork, or they would create something onto their own, you know. But, you know, my point is downloading um, has caused the artwork for um, late record labels to disappear. Pretty much so. Which um, I, I miss. I always liked the record company artwork. And, you know, that's gone. Uh, you download it on a piece of music on your uh, computer. Um, it's not there. And um, most of my 180 gram vinyl, you know, new releases, the, the record company is um, really small. And plus, the music business has changed tremendously. You know, like there's Universal Music Group. I don't know. And so they brought up this label and that label. It's all been thrown into a box. You know, all the parts into a box. Put the top on and ravel it around. So uh, things have changed. Um, so, you know, that's my video. If you like to comment, that would be great. Um, I got to um, do a couple things now um, to get the day continuing to, to go. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't and um, leave a comment if you like. Uh, th thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.